Hi, I'm Justin from T2K and in this video we're going to be taking a quick tour of the PWA interface to help familiarise you with it before we go into more detail in later videos. I'll start by opening up the PWA by clicking on my taskbar icon and here we see the main interface. Down the left hand side of the window is the main menu. The first icon is Team. This is the page that you can see now. When you first launch the PWA you will be taken here. Team is where you have visibility of your colleagues, can see their current status and call them quickly and simply just by clicking. The next icon is Chat. 3CX has a built-in chat messaging system much like WhatsApp. It can be used to send and receive messages to colleagues both individually and in groups. You can even send files and communicate to people outside of your company. If you do not see the chat icon, this means that your company has decided not to use the facility. Next is Meet. This is much like Teams. You can schedule video calls, webinars and simple audio conferences here. You can also create ad hoc meetings too. Beneath Meet is Calls. This is where you can review all the calls you have made, received or missed. Think of it like a more powerful last number redial. Calling recent callers back from here is as quick and simple as a click of a mouse. Next we have Panel. This can show you active calls on the phone system and depending on your permissions can help you manage members of your team with tasks like logging them in and out of queues. Underneath Panel is Contacts. This will display the company phone book and dependent on your permissions you can add and edit or delete contacts here. It's worth noting that any contacts stored here can also be searched from the team page too. Finally we have the ellipsis icon. Clicking this will give you access to additional features including voicemail where you'll be able to review any voicemails that have been left in your personal mailbox and you may also have access to recordings depending on your permissions. You will then be able to review either your own call recordings or your own recordings and those of your team. Moving up to the top of the PWA, you can see the telephone icon. Clicking this will reveal the dialer. You can use this to make outbound calls and manage incoming calls. The dialer will appear automatically when an incoming call arrives. We'll explore all the features and controls of the dialer in another video on call handling. Next is the QR code. Clicking this will reveal the QR code that can be used to provision the smartphone app on your iOS or Android mobile phone. Next is the instruction book. This will take you to a website containing instructions on how to use all the features of 3CX. Finally we have your avatar. By default this may just have your initials. Keep watching and we'll show you how to upload your own photo. Clicking on the avatar will reveal your availability status options. There is a whole video dedicated to these so please be sure to take a look at that as it's a very powerful feature that you will undoubtedly find really useful. So that concludes our whistle stop tour of the PWA interface but as promised I'll show you how you can upload your own photo to your 3CX extension. Firstly click on your avatar and now click on settings. In the general section you'll see a placeholder image. Beneath this is a folder icon. Click on the folder icon and you can now browse your computer for a suitable image. Select one and click open. You can now crop the image to fit if required. Then click on the OK button and that's it, your new avatar is ready and visible. Thanks for watching this video, I really hope you found it useful. Please take the time to look at our other videos and learn how to use all the features of your 3CX system.